Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see what is an automorphic number and the C++ code to check if a number is automorphic or not. So what is an automorphic number? A number is automorphic if its square ends with the same digits as its original number. So for example, if the number is 76, then its square will be 76 into 76 that will come out to be 5776. So uh, the last two digits of the this number that is 5776 uh, is equal to the original number. So we can see that the last two dig digits are 7 and 6 which is equal to the original number. So this is an automorphic number. For example, if a number is 7, then its square will be 7 into 7. This will be equal to 49. So the last uh, digit that is 9 is not equal to 7. So this is not an automorphic number. This is the code for the problem. We are having a function is automorphic that will return 1 if the number is automorphic and 0 if the number is not automorphic. So uh, we are having a number n. This is our original number. We are calculating the square of the number by n into n. We are in uh, running a while loop that with condition n is greater than 0. Then we will check if n mod 10 is equals to square mod 10. So this means that if the last digit of n is not equal to the last digit of square, so then we will return false. Uh, this means that the number is not automorphic uh, in this condition. Then after the if condition, we are uh, reinitializing the value of n by uh, n by 10. So uh, the last digit of the uh, number will be removed by this operation. Uh, we are also reinitializing the square variable by square by 10. Uh, this will remove the last digit of the square. After the while loop is over, uh, we are returning true. Uh, when the while loop will be over, this means that the number is automorphic and the last digits are same of the number and the square of the number. So after this while loop, we will return true. So this is the dry run of the code. Uh, we are assuming that the value of n is 25. So the square will become 625. As n is greater than 0, so we will enter into this loop. Then this if condition would be checked. Uh, this if condition basically checks that uh, if uh, the last digit of n and the last digit of square are not equal, then we will return false. Okay, so in this case, the last digit of n and sq are equal, that is 5 is equal to 5, so we will not enter into this return statement. The value of n is updated by n by 10, so n will become 2 and sq will become 62. So n is uh, greater than 0, so we will again enter into this loop. Then this would be checked that if uh, the, as uh, the last digit of n and sq are equal in this case also. So we will not enter into this return statement. Uh, then the value of n will again be updated by n by 10. So n will become 0 and sq will become 6. In this case as the value of n is not greater than 0. So we will not enter into this loop. And finally true would be returned from this uh, function. That is is automatic function. Okay. Uh, now let us assume that the value of n is 7 then the square will be 49 so as n is greater than 0 we will enter into this loop so the last value of uh, the last digit of n and sq are compared uh, that is 7 and 9 are compared as in this case 7 is not equal to 9 so return false false will, will be returned by this is automatic function I hope you understood the code and the dry run so thank you for watching the video and please leave us your comments.